Welcome to One on One. I'm Greg Bassey, your host from the Salisbury Independent Newspaper. We are remote today at the Wicomico Youth and Civic Center. It's a little colder this year. We were here a year ago right now to interview my favorite guy in the whole peninsula, Keith Clark. Welcome, <laughs> Keith. Thank you. Now, Keith, why are you here? Why are you special to me? Um, I guess it's because uh, the event that we got going on this uh, next Thursday, uh, on the 13th, Oh, I'm sorry, on the 14th. Right, 14th. Yeah, Thursday the 14th. The right here at the Civic Center? Right here at the Civic Center. It's a wreath laying ceremony at the War Memorial. Now, the wreaths are that you're going to lay here with your other crewmen, your other truck uh, drivers for Purdue Farms. Where are you getting these wreaths? They're coming from Arlington, or I'm sorry, Harrington, Maine. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, the wreaths across America, it was started by the Worcester Wreath Company up in Harrington, Maine. And uh, they started back in 92, I believe. They just had some extra wreaths they brought down to Arlington. And, um, you know, a lot of people really liked the idea. So the following year they did it again, and it just snowballed, and it got bigger and bigger and bigger. Right. So the wreaths will be put here on the, the uh, Veterans Memorial, and then you'll do something more with wreaths. What will you do after that? I'll take a load of wreaths into Arlington. Wow. On Saturday the 16th at 8 a.m. in the morning, uh, they're having a national uh, event over there where we'll put wreaths on all of the graves. And that's the mission is to cover all of the graves in Arlington. Uh, and if anyone's ever seen this, uh, the wreaths on the graves, it's a sight that really gets your emotion. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, usually when I go there, I'll take a few spots and I'll take snapshots of the graves before the wreaths. And then later in the day, after all the wreaths are laid out, I take, try to take those same snapshots to show you know, the impact that the wreaths have on all of the graves is beautiful. Yeah, on my desk I have a postcard of them in the snow um, with the hundreds yeah. of graves and it's just, it's really moving, it's beautiful and moving at the same time. Yeah, it is and I, I think the families really, they really appreciate the community stepping up and, and recognizing their loved ones. I think it's a pretty, pretty kind thing to do. Talk about that a little bit. In the newspaper story that we had, uh, we interviewed you and you talked about encountering one of the families. Um, Yes. That must, um, how, that must be really awkward, but good. It is awkward. Um, I do, well, about six years ago, I did the convoy down. Right. From, from Harrington down into Arlington with the whole package, you know, the whole convoy. Spent the whole week with them, spent the whole week with the Gold Star Moms. So, you know, I heard several different stories. Several, several, several of the families, you know, they open up and they tell you their story about their loved one. And um, it's touching. You know, it's very touching. It, it became clear to me how important this is, and, and I'm into it. I, I really enjoy doing it. Right, that they would share it with you like that. That's, that's really, really touching. Yeah. Now, the convoy is big. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I think this year they've got about 175 volunteers uh, involved in it. The Gold Star Moms will be there. They have a bus that they travel in, and they also have some SUVs. The, I believe they have um, seven Suburbans and five... Chevy Traverses traveling that'll be carrying Gold Star Moms, Blue Star Moms, um, or Blue Star families with them. Um, it's just a, it's big. Right. Yeah. Now Purdue Farms has been doing this for 11 years. You've been doing it for seven. Yep, that's right. Um, any close calls? <laughs> no. I. Do you guys get escorts or how does that work? Escorts over to Arlington. Yeah, when you're coming down, yeah. From oh yes, yeah, okay. yes. Each state, yeah. When you each time you get to a state border, uh, the police, you know, they trade hands. The, new, the the state you're going into, the state police meet you there and escort you through the whole uh, the whole state. They keep you together as a package. They keep all the other traffic out of the the package as it moves down the highway. And each state, you know, they're they're on top of it. I would love to see that. I really mm -hmm. would. One of the things that's going to be added this year locally is uh, Parsons Cemetery is going to get wreaths uh, placed for each oh, of the veterans. Okay. 
and I guess that's separate from you to a degree, yeah. but it'll it'll help localize the event here for people who don't get to Arlington. Yeah, well, you know, uh, for example, on the on the War Memorial over here, we have 191 names. So there's Gold Star families right here on Delmarva that are tied to these names. I was looking at the names a little while ago, and you know, a lot of the last names they're they're names that are very common to to Delmarva. So. Um, they're right here. Right. Where do you live? I live in Roxana. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you drive for Purdue. You, yep. you drive mostly in the Northeast and South. Yep. Uh, a lot in the Carolinas, Georgia, a lot of Massachusetts, upstate New York. And how big is your truck? Uh, boy, it's about 70 feet long and about 80,000 pounds. <laughs> wow. How many wreaths go in there? Ooh, good question. I don't know. I'm not sure how many fit in there. Probably somewhere around 5,000. Yeah. That's really amazing. Uh, when I was in college, I drove 40-foot buses, and it was all I could do to get those around. So I try to imagine a 70-foot vehicle. <laughs> well, at least it bends in the middle. You know? <laughs> it makes it a little easier. That's cool. <laughs> now, this year on the 13th here, you'll have your fellow drivers with you again? Yep. We'll be here uh, probably around 2, 2.30. Uh, the convoy will be coming in here. Around, we're expecting them around 2.45. Um, the ceremony begins at 3 o'clock. Um, and the drivers will be here. We'll have a couple of Gold Star families from here on Delmarva. We're going to print, present some wreaths to them. And um, the whole Gold Star organization will be here and wreaths across America. Will you come in from Route 13? What's the route? Because I've had people say they wanted to stand along the route and see the trucks go by. Good question. I don't know. I'm going to guess um, they're probably going to come in on 50 some sort of way. Like the, um, by, the bypass to 50 and then come yeah, in to Civic I would Avenue? Yeah, the bypass somehow. Yeah. Yeah. There's thought that maybe the, the high school kids might line up uh, to see it. Right. Because Y High is right there. Well, I know that they'll be coming right down Civic Avenue. So, right. Um, so that could be a good place to see it if yeah, people want to see it. Right there on Civic Avenue is probably the best place. And then the ceremony here is uh, really touching. You guys wear your sunglasses and it's a very uh, revered <laughs> type thing. It's really cool. Hopefully it'll be a nice, uh, nice sunny day. Well, Keith, thank you so much for doing this. Thank you. Um, it's just terrific, and I, I look forward to seeing you every year. And you look so good in the paper, all the photos <laughs> we put of you in the paper um, touting us. You're an excellent spokesman for Purdue and for this uh, great, great event. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you. I'm Greg Basser from the Salisbury Independent Newspaper, another edition of One on One right here on PAC 14. First Shore Federal is proud to support PAC-14 and one-on-one. -on -one. We'd encourage every business to support PAC-14 and, and pick a program and support it and let's make a difference.